one historian. Today I'm going to be talking about the books that you guys should read on a snowy day. I did this video last year and I'll link that video down below. And since winter is coming, I thought um, I would recommend you guys books to read on a snowy day. Especially when it snowed a couple, like a few days ago in Illinois. And, and it's probably going to snow again later and the temperature is going to drop and you want to curl up in a blanket with your whatever book you are going to be reading, so let's get started. The first book I want to recommend to you guys is The Neverland Wars by Audrey Greathouse. This is a Peer Pan retelling, obviously, but this retelling is really different from any other Peer Pan retellings that I've read. There is war between the real world and Neverland and all the conflicts there and this girl named Gwen whose sister went to Neverland with Peter Pan and all of her adventures um, in Neverland and I've read the first two books of the trilogy I need to read the last book and it's driving me crazy that I haven't read the third one yet I read this from the library before I bought my own copy I don't have the Piper's Price yet I need the Grown Ups Crusade that's the last book of the series and I need to read the rest of need that book book so I can read the rest of the series and this is a really good book to read in the winter time because like for me I think about a lot of my favorite worlds to visit in and especially retellings and this is a really good read to read on a snowy day. The next book I'm going to recommend to you guys is Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. I think reading a classic would be a good um, pick to read on a snowy day because um, you, even though people don't like the classics, they would read the retellings, which is okay. And I definitely would love to read Pride and Prejudice again because I enjoyed it. Plus, i never seen any movie adaptations of it. So I definitely think Pride and Prejudice would be a good um, book to read in the winter, especially when there's romance, because I know a lot of people love reading romance in the winter. So plus this is a Barnes & Noble's Classics Edition, which I really like. And the end papers, mostly the cover I really like, but I love Prime Prejudice, except I do not not like Mr. Darcy, so please don't send me hates on that. He's just not my type, and yeah, I think Prime Prejudice would be another good pick to read. The next book I'm going to recommend to you guys is The Book Jumper by, I can't pronounce the author's last name, I'm not going to butcher it. But I think this would be a great book to read in the winter, especially when this relates to um, our beloved books, especially, especially when a main character jumps into different books to interact with the characters and the world, and I just think it would be a great book to read in the winter or snowy day, especially when um, people would get, wouldn't be able to go to work and they would call up in a book to read. I just think this would be a perfect read on a snowy day, especially when it's about reading. <laughs> the next book I'm going to recommend to you guys is A Wizard of Earthsea by Ursula K. Le Guin. I, I, Guin, I, sorry that I mispronounced her last name, but I recommend to everybody who loves Harry Potter, because I know a lot of people would love to read Harry Potter in the winter, especially um, when there's a Yule Ball in the fourth book, and this is really like Harry Potter and Laura of the Rings, that's how I can describe it as, and I want to read the rest of the books of the series because I'm really curious, and I know um, there's a movie adaptation that's um, by Studio Ghibli that turned this into a movie, but they smashed like three books in one movie, which confused me a bit, but I still end up loving both of them overall, but again, I think this would be a good book to read on a snowy day, especially when it's like Harry Potter. <laughs> The next book I'm going to recommend to you guys is Frostblood by Ellie Blake, and of course I think I would recommend this book because it has frost in the title, and in addition to that, there are characters that this world is like Avatar The Last Airbender, and I recommend this to everybody who loves Avatar The Last Airbender, especially when um, Frostbloods and fire bl um, bloods are like in battle, and um, this girl is Fireblood, which Tangly is illegal to the Frostbloods, and and then she ends up joining the Rebel of Frostbloods, and and it's a really good book. I know it took me a month to read it last year, but I want to read Fireblood, which is the next book of the series, and I definitely think this would be a worth read to 
on a snowy day, especially when it has um, a word that relates to the snow and and all that. <laughs> the next book that I'm going to recommend to you guys is To All the Boys I Loved Before by John, um, Jenny Han. I love that. I literally love this book. I literally watched the movie when was it like a couple weeks before or after it came out. Sorry about that. But I think this would be a great book to read, especially when. Um, um, Laura Jean bakes, um, bakes cookies, and I'm like, this reminds me of winter a lot. Just be, it, that's the, like a perfect day to do on a snowy day, making cookies. So, and what's unique about this book is they have recipes of what Johnny Han makes in a book, and I, and it makes me want to make some cookies because of that. And again, an activity that was perfect for a snowy day, especially when there's love letters involved and again I would definitely would read this on a snowy day because I definitely want to read this again and read the sequel because I want to read it so badly. The last book I'm going to recommend to you guys is Cinder by Marissa Meyer. This would be odd to um, recommend on a snowy day but I read this like in the beginning um, somewhere in the beginning of this year and I marathoned the whole series and I think um, especially when Winter is a really long, especially when winter is a really long um, um, days, and snowy days are definitely long. And if you want a marathon, a series in one day, the Lunar Chronicles would be perfect for that. I have not read Stars Above yet, but I know it's a novelization. It, they're novellas of the Lunar Chronicles world, and I just think this would be perfect read in the winter, especially when you want to marathon a series. <laughs> so that is all for the books to read on a snowy day. If you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up and comment down below some of the books that you think I should read on a snowy day because I need some book recommendations, especially when the year is almost over and it's really shocking to me, especially I literally thought um, this year has been really long, especially I keep thinking that Time is so short, but it's been a really long year for me, and I definitely want to catch up on some books I haven't read yet. But anyways, if you want to follow me on social media, I have Facebook on our last year, and I have Twitter and Instagram on last year 19. I also have Goodreach, which I'll link down below. If you don't want to miss any of my new videos, hit subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!